1 given O, X, Y, Z are 4 point with O, X is 1, O, Y, O, Z. If X, Y, Z are collinear, find the value of K. So what does it mean by collinear? Co collinear means it is on the same line. So this means that you have, if this one is X, anywhere is Y. So all these three points is on the same line. So we have another point which is O. So it's given the distance from O, X. O, Y, see here O, X, O, Y, and O, Z, K. Find the value of K. So you see here, O, K is here at O, Y. So we have O, X and we have O, Z. So we have O, X, which is this one is 4X plus 2Y. So for this one is 4X plus 2Y. And we have O, Z. So, all Z is 6X plus 5Y. So, we see here collinear. So, we have XYZ, right? So, which means XY is equal to lambda XZ. So, this one is actually the ratio. Because we know it is on the same line. So, just the distance is different. So, we are represented by this one. XY is equal to lambda XZ. So, here XY, how to find XY? So, we have Y already here. OY here is KX minus Y, right? This one is KX minus Y. So, we can find XY. So, XY is equal to... So, here XY... So, we see here to go from XY. So, here this one is XY, right? So, you must go here. This way to this way. This one is XO plus OY. This one is XO plus OY. So, this one, direction X to Y. This one must go direction from X to Y as well. But we don't have XO, right? We have OX. So, this one, XO is equal to opposite of O, X. See here, opposite is negative. So, when you change direction, it is negative. See here, this one is going down and this one is going up. So, this one is negative. Plus, O, Y. So, we have O, Y which is K, X minus Y. Right? So, negative O, X. O, X is 4, X minus negative 2, Y. So, this one is negative 4, X minus 2, Y. Plus, K, X minus y so here we have negative 4x plus 2y this one is plus kx this one is positive and negative minus y so we group together so this one is negative 4 plus kx right negative 4 plus k 2y minus y is plus y right 2 minus 1 is 1 so we have xy so we just put it up first so this one is xy is equal to negative 4 plus kx plus y so xz is equal to so xz is this way right so this one is x this one is z so it must go this way plus this way you see here the arrow must also go from x to z so, this one is XO plus OZ, right? So, XO, so XO we don't have but we have OX, so negative OX plus OZ, we have OZ, okay, which is equal to negative OX is for X minus 2Y plus OZ is 6X plus Y. So this one is negative 4x plus 6x. Negative negative become positive 2y plus 5y. So here we get 2x plus 7y. So this one is xz. So here xz is equal to 2x plus 7y. So you see here this one is collinear right. So we have x y z this one it does not necessarily x y is equal to lambda x z you can also do it as y z is equal to lambda x z also okay 
But this one, you see here, if you do it, x, y is equal to y, z. So what happened is, this one you have unknown, right? And this one also you have unknown. Because in y, we have k. So this one is quite hard to do. But then, you can choose this one or this one and still get the same answer. But what I do is x, y and x, x. So I do x, z, y. Because you can see that in x, in o, x, and in o, z, we don't have unknown. See here, this one is 4x minus 2y, and this one is 6x plus 5y. So you don't necessarily need to do x, y is equal to lambda x, x. You can also do this one. Okay. So this one also okay. You can also get the same answer, but then the, the way is quite long. Okay. So we want to solve it in the easiest possible way. Alright. So here x, y is, this one is negative 4 plus k x plus y is equal to, so lambda, because this one is the ratio, we don't know the length. Uh, the length. So this one is x, z, so x, z is 2x plus 7 y. So this one you can expand 2 lambda x plus 7 lambda y. And this one is negative 4 plus k x plus y. So, we are going to compare x and x, y and y. So, you see here for x, we have lambda n. So, you see here for x, we have negative 4 plus k is equal to, this one is 2 lambda. We have k m lambda. But for y, here we have y is actually 1 is equal to 7 lambda. See, I just take y and the 1 in front of y. So, here lambda is equal to 1 over 7. Now, we have the value of lambda. So, if we have the value of lambda, we can substitute here. So, here negative 4 plus k is equal to 2 times 1 over 7. You see here the value of lambda which is equal to 2 over 7. Negative 4 plus k. So, k is equal to 2 over 7. So, negative 4, you bring it to the other side, it will become positive 4. So, 2 over 7 plus 4. 4 times 7, you get 28 plus 2. This one is 30 over 7. So, this one is the value of K.